Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm gonna deck profile my Labyrinth deck that I got top four at locals with. I went X1 and my only loss was to cash and all my other rounds were against cash. So that was a fun day. Not particularly exactly, but I did win my dice rolls, which probably helped a lot. I figured I'll just jump into the deck list here. Three Lady Labyrinths. Then we have one lovely and two Ariana's. I kind of like this ratio, working out quite well. Don't think I would need the third Ariana. I haven't felt the need to play three at the moment. Then we play three big welcomes. They're just the better welcome in most situations. Being able to special summon from hand deck or graveyard comes up a lot to help make rank eights if you need to get over things and out problematic cards. And then the fact that you can bounce stuff is really good as well. And then three welcomes, the other way to get tour monsters, and it does reset itself, so it does get utility until you run out of monsters in your main deck. Then the one labyrinth labyrinth, which is nice because it helps you get more pops on your opponent's turn for disruptions and makes it harder for them to play the game. Then I play one Lord, it's kind of a brick if you have multiples, only really want to see one, so we're only playing one right now. And then triple prosperity to dig deeper into the deck, triple duality to dig deeper into the deck. Oops, sorry, wrong card. Then if we're going second cards, triple evenly, triple sphere mode. Then onto our trap engine, triple compulse, because it helps us trigger our effects. Triple punishment, same reason, and plus you get all that value from your extra deck. Two terrors of the other over root to out cards as well. Then one destructive Daruma cannon for those matchups where Book of Mooning people is good. Then uh, one eradicator epidemic virus for all the matchups where it's relevant. Then we play double D barrier and the trap trick as an extra copy. Don't really want to open three of this card and at least trap trick can get us other cards as well. And then I round it off with two skill drains. This is 41 card main deck. I didn't want to see three skill drains game one because if I happen to play a mirror which exists at our locals, I'd rather not have that many more dead trap cards. So we opted for two at the moment. We do side the third. For extra deck we have the two Bacephaluses, the Garuras for the Bacephalus to send. We play two Intus to pop cards. One Mirror Logic Aggregator in case we need that negate when it's sent. And then Omega to recycle stuff if we have to. Double Lingdaribo for the potential Iblis. A Ding, Lancelot. And Zombie Stein as a uh, rank 8 techs for certain situations like 4500 beater, 2k that can attack directly, and this just sends cards to the graveyard, which is nice. Then, since we play those exceeds, we play a copy of Zeus, and then we also play one Muckcracker as a card in case we ever need to make it for some situation. Blossom for the matchups where it's good going second, like into Branded or anything other rogues that you might find the Ash Word of Wild against. Triple Anti Spell to stop things like Duster and the Lightning Storms, among other spell heavy decks. Then I play one Rivalry with two Gozins. I think I want to cut the Gozin because I don't see myself siding both most of the time with all the other cards on the side deck. Then the third barrier in case we need it in a matchup where it's super relevant. The third skill drain as I mentioned. And then I play a duster for going into other back row decks that don't have inherent protection or like stuff like branded where it's kind of nice going second. Then I play double mind crush as my out to evenly. If they have more than one, it hits more than one out of their hand. Waste their battle phase because assumingly they're just gonna go battle phase. And then at the start step, you can just declare Mind Crush, call evenly because usually they'll have an evenly if they're going into the battle phase to begin with. And on top of it, it's not like judgment where you have to pay life points. So with this deck being a control deck, you go into time a lot. 
and paying for judgment to stop and evenly going first in like game two or three really is awkward then we have one iron wall to round off a nice way to shut off certain decks like cash and sometimes branded and like the other evenlies that can come your way and stuff like that it's a nice out or like cyclones it's a solid card to side this format for this deck but yeah that was the entire deck if you have any questions comments concerns let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video